Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw the genie from Aladdin. So let's move to the top left side of our page and start with the eyes. So I'll start with the left eye with an oval, starting from the top, work my way around to the bottom, and then back up to the top. Now I'm going to leave a small gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So let's line up the top of the eye. Now I'm going to push the pupils in towards the inside. So on the left side, I'm going to draw a small circle and fill that in black. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. From the inside edge of the eyes, I'm going to round out the side of the nose. So on the left side, I'm going to curve out and then pull that in towards the center point of the nose. Now I'm going to curve back up on the right side, going out and then in towards the inside of the eye. Now I'm going to tuck the mouth in behind the nose. So let's start on the left side. We're going to draw a curve going in behind the nose. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and then continue on the right side. Now let's draw a little bracket on the end of the mouth. So on the left side, I'm just going to draw a curve going across. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now from the end of the mouth, I want to curve in and then back down towards the left, towards the bottom of the mouth. We'll do the same thing on the right, coming in and then back out. Let's connect the bottom of the mouth with a curve going up in the middle and then back down. Now let's separate the teeth. So in the middle here, I'm gonna draw a curve from left to right, coming down, and then back up. Now on the left side here, I'm just gonna draw a straight line coming down. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna fill the areas in black. Now we're gonna draw two half circles around the bracket for the side of the cheek. So let's step out, curve around, and then back in. We'll do the same thing on the right. From the bottom, we want to curve down and out. Starting on the left, we're going to curve out. And on the right, we'll do the same thing. Now, I want to connect those two points with a curve. So we're going to round up the jaw and come back up on the right side. Now, I want to layer the beard underneath the chin. So I'm going to start on the left side. I'm just going to taper in towards the center, curving down. And then in. Now right here I'm going to draw a little swirl, curling around. Now I'm going to taper and curve that back underneath the chin, leaving a little space. And I'm going to work my way back up towards the right, just underneath the jaw. Now let's go ahead and fill all that in black. Now let's move back up and draw on the top of the head. So on top of the cheek, we're going to step out to create a little overlap. We're going to curve up to the top of the head, round it out, and then come down on top of the right cheek. Up above the eyes, we're going to add two large eyebrows. So on the left side, we're going to draw a curve from left to right going up and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now I just want to thicken up the eyebrows. So we're going to go back to this left side here, go up high in the middle, and then taper back down towards the inside. Same thing on the right. Now we're going to fill the eyebrows in black. Let's add a little ponytail at the top. So in the top center of the head, we're going to draw a little half circle for the knot. Now on the left side of the top of the head, curve around, down, and then we're just going to flick it up at the end. Now I just want to taper this back in behind this little knot. So we're going to start on the right side of the knot, curving out, and then we'll make our way towards the tip. Now we're gonna fill that in black. Now we're gonna add two large pointy ears on the side of the head. So let's start on top of the cheek on the left side, and curve up and then out. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to curve down the side of the ear. So on the left side, I'm going to curve down around the side of the cheek. Do the same thing on the right. Now over here on the left side, we're going to add an earring. So it's almost like a large, long oval. Coming down and then back up. And then on the inside of the oval, we're just going to curve in behind the head. Now on the right side, I just want to round out the earlobe and curve in behind the head. Now going back to the top of the ear, we're just going to taper in behind the head, just for the upper part of the ear. 
Okay, so now that we got the head, let's draw in the body. So I'm gonna have the arms folded in front, but I'm gonna turn the body over towards the right. So let's start with the large forearm on the left side. We're gonna start underneath this earring. We curve out and down, and then round out the arm. Start by coming down the side of the head, pushing out toward the left, and then down here we're just gonna curve this back in. Now this is gonna come in towards the forearm, up towards the wrist. So let's start by blending this into a curve, going up towards the wrist. Now right here we're gonna flatten it out, going out towards the right. Now this arm is gonna be folded on top of the right arm. So from here it's gonna blend into the right arm elbow and then back in, it's almost like a half circle. And go out towards the right, and then just pull that back into right about there. Now let's draw in the tall part of the left arm. So right here is where the bend of the elbow is. So right here we're gonna curve up underneath the chin and then back down on top of that curve. Going up, and we're gonna curve this down on top of this curve. Let's draw on the right side of the neck. So right where the ear meets the head, we're just gonna curve down and then out underneath the arm. Now directly in the center of the head, we're gonna move down right at the bottom of the arm here. We're gonna curve the back, going down and then out towards the left. Now the body gets really narrow as it comes down towards the waistline. So I wanna draw the right side of the waist right down here. So from this point of the arm, I'm gonna curve down and then just pull that in. So the body gets in narrow. Now this is the back side of the arm. We wanna draw on the up bottom side of the forearm. So we step up and just draw a curve. From the bottom of this arm, curve down, and then just across. And then from this point, we're just gonna continue this underneath the forearm. Now let's draw in the large wristband. So the one on the left, we're gonna start on the upper part of the arm, curving across, and then pull that down. We're gonna step over and draw that same curve from the top to the bottom. Now the band on the right arm is gonna curve in the same direction from the top all the way down to the bottom. Just underneath the arms here, we're gonna draw a curve for the lower part of the chest. So starting on the left side, we'll curve up and then out. Let's draw the sash along the waistline. So we're gonna connect these two points with a curve. Now I just wanna round out the little wrinkle around the sash. From this corner, we're gonna step up, curve around, and then just pull that in. On the bottom, we're gonna step up and curve in the opposite direction. Now let's draw the lower part of the sash. From this curve, we're gonna come down almost like a half circle, and then back up on the right side. And then just down here, I just wanna add another wrinkle, a little curve from left to right. Now we're gonna draw the lower part of the body sort of waving in towards the lamp. So let's start with the inside edge first. So at the bottom of this curve, we're gonna come around, go up, and then just pull that down along the bottom. Now on the left side, we're gonna taper it. So we're gonna follow that same curve coming down to a point. So we're gonna start on the left side, down, go up, and we're just going to pull this in towards the point. The final thing we want to do is add a simple lamp on the side here. So at the bottom of this point, we're going to draw a short straight line going across. From this point on the right, we're going to curve down and out towards the right. Now we're going to round out the top of the lamp, going up and then back down. Now on the left side, we're going to curve in the opposite direction and just round out the bottom of the lamp. Now I'm going to taper and curve in the opposite direction. Going up, we want to leave a little space on the outside for the handle. Now let's add in the handle. From this point, we're going to curve up, come back down, and then pull that in, leaving a little space on the inside. We're going to step out and just swirl around and then back in behind the lamp. Now on the inside, we're going to draw what looks like the letter P. Go up round it out, and then pull that in. At the top of the lamp, we're gonna draw a little curve going up, and then swirling that back down. We'll draw the base of the lamp. So from the center, we're gonna step to the left, curve down and out. We'll do the same thing on the right. We'll connect those two points with a curve. Now let's add a little bit of detail. So for the lid, we're gonna start on the left side, curve down, and then back up. We'll draw that twice. Now we're gonna add a little trim along the bottom. From left to right, we'll add one more just above it. And there we have it. There's the genie from Aladdin. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.